the Clubhouse Call-In with Wolf and Luke. 98.7 FM, Arizona's Sports Station. All right, welcome back to the show. D-backs taking on the Rockies starting a three-game series at home tonight. They'll get Pittsburgh next week. They've been on the road for a while, Wolf. They were uh, in Atlanta last Friday through Sunday and then in Cleveland Monday through Wednesday. The trade deadline, of course, happened in that stretch in Cleveland. And also Tommy Henry made his first ever major league appearance and start Wednesday in Cleveland. That was the D-backs' last game out. It was against Shane Bieber, of all people. And uh, Tommy Henry joins us right now on the Arizona Sports Line. Tommy, thank you for the time. What has your first little run here in Major League Baseball been like? Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, it's been it's been pretty special. Um, it was kind of a cool, unique experience to be able to debut uh, in Cleveland, which isn't too far from uh, you know Detroit, which is where my parents grew up in my hometown of Kalamazoo. So that was a kind of a lucky draw um, and a unique, a unique experience that allowed me to share that with my family. So, Tommy, when you say your family, how, ma- how much of your family was actually there? Uh, um, I left uh, 74 tickets that day. <laughs> um, but I don't think that covered everyone that came from my hometown or, or you know, friends or teachers that showed up. Um, you know, I heard there was a lot of Portage and, and Kalamazoo that came to to show, but I yeah, I left seventy four tickets, so it was at least seventy four. Wow, that's that's wow. crazy. Tommy Henry's joining us right now. Okay, so Tommy, you know you've got at least seventy four friends and family members at the game. It's your first ever major league start. It is Shane Bieber on the mound for Cleveland. Were you able to block out emotion before you went out there on the mound? Um. Funny you say that. I actually, I didn't feel too nervous, um, you know, the night before or even the morning leading up. I think I was lucky to have a day game, so I didn't have to sit around for too long, you know, prior. Um, but come that first pitch, I think all of, you know, the nerves that hadn't hit me um, in the hours leading up all hit me at once. Um, and I really felt it when I was out there. Um, just kind of, you know, a long dream coming to fruition um, along with all of the, the first, and the new things that come with, you know, being a Major League Baseball player. Um, so I, I, I guess I was lucky not to feel it prior, but in the moment, it definitely all hit me. Tommy, how do you think it went for you? Your first start in the bigs, how'd it go? Um, I, I'm, I'm happy with how it went. Um, I say that hesitantly, though, because I know there's plenty of areas to improve. Um plenty of, of, of things that I'd like to do better and, and just do more like myself, um, you know, command the baseball a little bit better, get ahead of hitters a little bit better. Um, under the circumstances, I'm, I'm happy with how it went, although, you know, it wasn't good enough to get us to win, um, which is unfortunate. But, um, you know, it's a day I'll remember forever. You know what, Tommy? Honestly, I was watching the game, and I was really, really proud of you. When you loaded up the bases, nobody out. You allowed a sack, fl- uh, sack fly that scored a run. And then, of course, you got the double play ball, and you got out of that. That told me that you were battling out there. I love that fact. How nervous were you early in that start, though? Um, pretty nervous. Uh, I think the, the mound meeting with Strom when the bases loaded, bases were loaded with nobody out, was um, actually, uh, as weird as it sounds, the moment that allowed me to, to relax a little bit. While I'm, you know, in the worst jam a pitcher can imagine, you know, bases loaded, nobody out. Um, you know, Strom gave me some words. Hosey gave me some words. Um, and, you know, the timing and the breath that, that allowed me to have, um, I felt like, you know, under, under the circumstances and even in the jam, I felt like I could settle in a little bit. So, um, yeah, that was – I felt like a little bit of a turning point there. T- Tommy, can I ask what, what Strom said to you? Can I ask you that? Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, there wasn't much – you know, it wasn't a strategic meeting. It wasn't really mechanical. Um, you know, it was just kind of some, some wisdom sprayed upon me um, along with the opportunity to take a breath, slow down, um, and kind of, you know, get back to being where my feet were. Um, that was, you know, what Strom, Strom gave me, and that's what I needed in the moment. 
Talking to Tommy Henry, uh, Tommy, the D-backs, as I'm sure you know, are, are a team that, that could certainly use some young pitchers in that rotation. And, you know, as it would look right now, your your next time up would be against Pittsburgh here in a little bit. Um, you know, when that, when that next start comes up, do you feel like you, just by having some experience in that first game against Cleveland, there are certain areas you're going to be more comfortable? Uh, yes, I, I think so. I sure hope so. I guess I won't know until I'm out there. Um, but I, I'm planning on it. Um, you know, luckily Chase is a, is a place I've thrown before, um, you know, during all site in 2020. So, you know, the surroundings aren't as new. Obviously there weren't any fans, um, and there wasn't anything really on the line. Um, but you know, you gotta be able to pitch under those circumstances as a pitcher, um, in any situation. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping, you know, the next one will feel a little bit more uh, settled in and I'm, I'm ready to get back to kind of pitching how, how I, I expect to be. Tommy, where do you think you need to improve the most as a pitcher? Um, I think if I've learned anything over, you know, my two years of minor league baseball prior to this, it's, you got to attack, you got to get ahead, and, you know, allowing guys free bases um, is – is definitely to a pitcher. Um, you know, I did that too many times in, you know, a few days ago in my debut. Um, I did that a lot in, in 2021. Um, and, and I've learned, you know, if you do that, you, somehow those runs score a lot more often than, mm. you know, if you make them earn their way on. Um, and, you know, I think that's kind of the old tale of pitching, but I think it's an old tale because it's, it's true. You got to get ahead and, you know, it's a lot easier to get guys out when you're ahead of them. Well, Tommy, we appreciate the time. Congratulations on, on getting up here to the major leagues, and good luck going forward, all right? Thank you guys very much. Thanks, Tommy. Thanks a lot. That's Tommy Henry joining us right there on the Arizona Sports Line. Yeah, he – first of all, tough to go out there against Shane Bieber, who's one of the better pitchers in all of baseball in your first start. Especially when there are 74 friends and family <laughs> At least. that are watching you. <laughs> And a miss, and Tommy Henry has his first major league strikeout.